you can take down a note connected to the call that you're on or use this inbuilt beautiful productivity widget. You can unlock a whole set of gallery features you've never seen. Use your phone to identify the strongest Wi-Fi connection and even convert moments in any video into a GIF. There's a ton of things that you can do on your Galaxy smartphone, so let's get started. Did you know you can take notes while you're on the call? Just click on these three dots, click on take notes and it will create a note with the name of the person in the title that you're having a conversation with. And while you're on the call, you can keep taking down notes. And this note is automatically saved in Samsung notes. It'll be the first note on the top. And yep, there you go. By the way, even after you disconnect the call, you can add notes. Did you know there's an inbuilt tool in your Galaxy phones that lets you convert video moments into a GIF. So I'm going to just convert this moment of Chandler saying, oh my God, into a GIF just like that and save it into my gallery. It's pretty simple actually. So let's say the video is playing. Pull out your edge panel and click on animation. Then adjust the recording window to whatever you want to record. Make sure it's on high quality and click on record. And once you hit stop, it automatically generates the GIF for you, which you can then save and it goes into your gallery from where then you can send it, uh, you know, as a meme to a friend on WhatsApp or pretty much anywhere. It's really that simple. Now, most of the Galaxy phones already have this edge panel on the right corner. But if you don't see yours, you can go into settings, go into display and scroll down to where it says edge panels. Then go into panels and make sure that this one, which is called smart select is turned on. That's it. Next, there's like a whole bunch of secret gallery features that you can unlock. So go into gallery settings, then into about gallery and tap on version number a couple of times that unlocks gallery labs. Now go back and then scroll all the way down to gallery labs. For example, right now in your gallery album, all photos just appear like this, right? But if I go into gallery labs and scroll down and turn on this setting called timeline in album, now in the album, all my photos are grouped by date and that is really useful. Another example, you would have noticed that nowadays the progress bar on videos is this annoying little feature. But if you go into your gallery lab settings and set the video player mode onto legacy, it will change the seek bar to the old way, which is so much more comfortable and convenient. There are also some settings like play the next video automatically or improve zoom performance when you pinch and zoom. I mean, there's a whole bunch of settings that you can play around with and personalize your gallery experience on your Samsung phone. Next, your phone can automatically turn Wi-Fi on or off depending on where you are. For this, go into settings and then the first one, which is connections. Then click on Wi-Fi and then on the top right corner, click on intelligent Wi-Fi. And then just turn on this option that says turn Wi-Fi on or off automatically. And it's gonna save you battery because your phone isn't unnecessarily hunting for Wi-Fi networks. But wait, it gets better. Go all the way down and tap on intelligent Wi-Fi a couple of times and it's going to unlock Wi-Fi developer options. Then go into nearby Wi-Fi information and it will instantly tell you which Wi-Fi connection around you is the strongest. And so if you're trying to connect to a public Wi-Fi, then this will tell you which connection is going to be the most stable and probably the fastest. Now, there are two very important things that most people will overlook on their Galaxy smartphones. First, if you lose your phone somewhere or someone steals it, you could literally locate its exact position by going to findmymobile.samsung.com. But you can't do that if you don't set it up first on your phone. And so to set it up, you could go into settings, click on search and look for find my mobile. Whatever search you set to get, click on it. And then when you get inside, just make sure you turn it on and enable these settings like remote unlock, send last location and offline finding as well. And second, most people don't set up emergency sharing on their Galaxy phones. For example, when you're in situations where you feel you're in danger, or let's say you're traveling and your phone is about to die, it's going to go out of battery, you need to be able to send quick SOS updates to emergency contacts. To set this up, go into settings and search for emergency sharing. This will allow you to set up who you want to alert during an emergency and what do you want to alert them with. For example, it can send photos and it can also send an audio recording in your messages to your emergency contacts, which again, you can set them up right over here. By the way, you can also trigger emergency sharing by triple tapping the power button. And you can also within panic mode, enable this setting that allows you to call your emergency contacts. And imagine all of this is already baked into your phone as a feature. And God, I hope you never have to use it, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared.
Now, do you notice this beautiful calendar widget uh, that sort of has this upcoming view of all the events or tasks that are due for me? Well, it's actually baked right into your phone. All you have to do is go into your widgets and pull out the calendar widget and specifically this one. Just place it onto your home screen and then you can resize it. And that's it. And then all your tasks and events will show up here. But the trick to making it look good is long press on it, go into settings and I specifically keep it in the dark mode and then set opacity to 30% and that's how it looks. Now, the trick also is to have these colors, which I actually use to categorize the nature of work. So when you're adding any event or task, just give it a color. And by the way, from within this widget, you can very quickly add an event um, or a task. Now, if you use a lot of widgets, you're probably flipping through your pages on the home screen to get to them. What if I told you, you could just drag and drop a widget on top of another and it becomes one stack. Just like that, I can take multiple widgets and drop them on top of each other and it becomes into this smart stack. And now I can access all my widgets in one place without taking up too much space on my home screen. I can even edit this stack and add more widgets. So I could just go on the right and click on plus or I can remove the ones that I already have. And they're intelligent, so the appropriate one automatically comes to the front. Next, if you ever feel like something's wrong with your phone or that it's not working properly and you can't figure it out, it could be storage issues, speed issues, you can get instant support from Samsung for free. So for this, just go into your settings and search for contact us. And then scroll down and you can click on it. And now you'll see a couple of options. One of them is remote support. Then just follow the process and a technician will give you a six digit code which you can then enter and then they'll be able to remotely control your phone and help you out with you know whatever it is that you need uh, to get done on your phone. Next, did you know Galaxy smartphones that run on Android 13 One UI 5 onwards, they can change language for certain apps specifically. And it's pretty simple to do so. Just go into settings and scroll all the way down to general management and then into app languages. And let's say you want only YouTube to be set up in a different language, you can do that, right? And again, this is only applicable to certain apps that support multilingual feature. All right, that's it guys. Those were 10 tips or tricks on Galaxy smartphones that I felt were really useful, but again, very rarely used by people who own Galaxy smartphones. And if you did enjoy watching this video, you're gonna love these two videos as well. As always guys, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.